Did you know there's a way to automatically edit the highlight selects of your B-roll clips using AI in one click? Well, in this video, we're gonna be going over a new plugin that will automatically select the good highlight clips and then cut out all the bad, shaky, blurry, unusable parts of your B-roll, leaving you with a finished selects timeline of your B-roll. Let's dive straight in. So if you're like me when it comes to editing B-roll, I have like a giant folder of raw footage, probably like hours worth of 4K footage. And then I have to go through, put that in the timeline and basically just scrub through it and like, oh, is this part shaky? This part's good, this part's blurry. I cut out all the bad takes. I'm left with all my good B-roll highlight selects. And then I start editing my main time. If that's how you edit, then this plugin is absolutely a game changer because if you edit like that, it saves me hours. So the plugin that we're gonna be going over today is called B-roll selector, hence the name. So this is a Premiere Pro base plugin DaVinci users. I'm sorry. I'm gonna be showing you a demo screen recording as I talk. So I have gotten the chance to try this plugin. I just honestly want to share my thoughts with you and what I think about this plugin so far. Is it worth it for video editors? Is it not? So the coolest thing about this plugin is that it works for all video types. If you're editing music videos, event recaps, vlogs, documentaries, whatever it may be, you can use this plugin to cut out all the shaky, blurry, and bad takes, any type of footage, which is really cool. I used to do a lot of music videos and vlogs, and I definitely had a lot of shaky camera footage because I was holding the camera and I, I didn't have the smoothest hands. And now I can basically just cut out all those shaky parts of the footage in just one click with AI. Pretty crazy, right? So it's really easy. You just download the plugin and then once you open your plugin, you'll be able to automatically upload any clips of your choice. So in this case example, I'm editing a vlog of a concert recap and it, as you can see, the footage is kind of shaky. Then you simply hit continue, it'll load for a bit and automatically it selects all your highlight moments of your B-roll for you in just one click. We have all of our selects highlighted in green and all of our bad selects highlighted in red. And it'll also make a sequence for me of all the good highlight selects. So I can have that sequence and then I can do my pancake style editing. I don't know if you guys do this where you have like the main timeline on the bottom and then your, your B-roll timeline or your assets timeline on the top and then you just drag and drop the footage. So it'll automatically do the pancake timeline for you. It's pretty cool. But honestly, what are my takes on this? So number one, I do like that this is an AI based workflow plugin. I mean, I like generative AI stuff. I think it's cool, but I do like AI that can help me actually edit and work in my timeline. And the B-roll selector plugin is one of those plugins that does that. So number one, that's really cool. Number two, the results, is it accurate? So I have noticed that about like five to 7% of the selects are kind of shaky in parts that I would cut. But honestly, the fact that I'm able to go from like three hours worth of footage to like 10 minutes of selects is insane. That that part alone saves me so much time because I would be having to rewatch entire vlogs, entire concerts, entire games, events, just to find the highlight selects of my B-roll. And now this plugin is able to do this for me automatically. So that's my second praise. Number three, right now, of my understanding, at the time of recording November 2025, the plugin is available for pre-sale and I'll be releasing in just a few weeks from now. But the cool thing about this pre-sale is that the pre-orders are gonna be lifetime value and 50% discounted of the monthly rate. So it's gonna be a subscription-based plugin after the launch, but if you pre-order it, you'll get it for lifetime value and for 50% off, which is a pretty still deal. So what type of editors is this plugin good for? And what type of editors is this plugin not good for? Now, if you're an editor with a lot of tripod footage, maybe there's a lot of steady cam shots and the footage isn't too shaky as is, then honestly, this plugin is not super great. It's really good for detecting the blurry parts, you know, the overexposed parts, the shaky parts, and then from, from handheld footage. Editing out B-roll selects from handheld footage, it's great with that. But if you already have this crazy steady cam rig, or maybe it's a tripod shot and it's staying still the entire time, it won't work the best for you, but I mean, you can still check it out. It is made for all types of video editing genres. So you can upload any type of footage that you want but I just recommend you keep note of like what type of footage it's best for. But yeah, that's that. I just want to record a video on it, like reviewing it and just kind of going over my thoughts. Let me know what you think. You can leave your comments down below. Love to hear what you guys have to say. Anyways, thanks guys for watching. If you want to check out my review on the auto edit AI music video editor plugin, you can check out this video linked right here.